Welcome to Zero Four The Four Kings. This is the Deliberator 2 series in the Walking Tank Challenge. I must defeat a human before I can take on a boss. So, waiting for this guy to show up. I'm kind of camping here for him. And there he is. I'm being a little bit more uh, comfortable being a walking tank. It's, uh, it really is a different mentality for a game that uh, rewards you for evading hits, for being nimble. or to block hits. It's quite a different matter to say, okay, I'm gonna let him hit me, <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit back hard. <laughs> it, it is a different mindset. Okay, so I'm waiting for this guy to come down, because if I figure if I walk up to him, he's going to do a plunging attack. So he's inviting me to come up. I'm inviting him to come down. <laughs> and still me. Hit him for 318 though. That really surprised me. My gosh, you see that it took like half his health? <laughs> and here he comes. Okay. And now he's free. Hit him for 98, only 98. This is a Zai Handler plus 15. I'm only hitting him for, for 98. That's. And he backstabs me for hardly any damage. What is the deal here? He's trying to parry, but... And I got lucky. Got him on the back screen. So I'm giving him three bows. Um, I'm just really happy. <laughs> I can now go on to the Four Kings, <laughs> and got a little surprise coming up for you guys. Hold on, a rare event captured on uh, video. Oh, here I go. I'm going through my setup. Yeah, eighty-four seven over sixty-six is my equipment burden. Quit the game, but. Walking back to the blacksmith, there is an evil vagrant. This may be the on only the second one I've ever seen in, oh, about 3,100 hours of playing now. And I got twin humanities from it. Okay, time for the four kings. This is heavy on stamina regen. I'm wearing the mask, the ring, and I'll be using green blossoms. <laughs> ah, I think I went up 30 levels trying to defeat the kings. My strength was always maxed out. Well, it isn't maxed out, but it's at 50 and it remained at 50. But I kept increasing my dexterity to make my weapon stronger. So I couldn't get it below uh, six double-handed hits. I was really trying to get it down to five double-handed hits. And I had to go out and farm green blossoms and gold pine resin twice. So I kept running low. So this fight starts off pr 
pretty bad. Um, actually, I'm I'm surprised I won. <laughs> so here we go. He grabs me. I hate that. Damn it! You just you can't evade when you're overweight. Ah. <sighs> So, I learned the lesson the hard way. Look at this. The second king showed up before I laid a hand on the first king. <laughs> and it's going to take six double-handed hits to kill the king. Now, I was really trying to cut that down to five, but couldn't do it. And that's what I mean. Um... Okay, here we go. Ready for the second king? I do block these uh, incoming hits, but here we go. Uh, go ahead and buff up. Take the hit. But I was lucky. I was able to block it in time. Walk in. Third king shows up before I even land a single hit on the second king. And here we go. That took a lot of discipline to go ahead and... Do the double-handed swing when he's going to do his magic blast. And again, just go ahead and take the hit. It is, it is a completely different mindset. It takes a lot, a lot to get used to. Okay, here we go. Walk in, take the hit. <laughs> take the hit. <laughs> Heal. <laughs> okay, you get the point. Oh, and to top it off, yeah, my battery controller's going dead, yeah. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. <laughs> and there's another king shows up. Take, yep. And here he is. And he's going to grab me. Ah, it pays to have a lot of humanity in your counter. And whenever you get below uh, around half health, man, you gotta you gotta heal up because uh, another king can come in behind you and hit you. Or if this king, if a king grabs you when you have less than half health, you're gonna die. So if that happens, if you're alone and a king grabs you and you're at, and you have less than half health, just quit your game. And you'll uh, end up outside the fog gate when you reload, and then you can just home bone back to the bonfire. You don't have to worry about uh, picking up your soul. And here we go. Just trade hits. He's getting ready to do his magic. Finish him off. This looked easy, but I think it took 19 attempts. <laughs> 19 attempts. Okay, grab the extra souls, because I'm a soul whore, don't you know? <laughs> okay, the reason I wanted to take on the four kings before I rang the bells is because I wanted to meet Koth here, is that his name? And uh, get the red orb red eye orb so I can invade other players because I was running out of uh, cracked red eye orbs and I was running out of humanity so I figure I suck so bad at PvP I'm just gonna have to invade people greetings undead warrior I am the primordial serpent dark stalker car I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. Undead warrior, conqueror of the four kings, is this not your wish? To know the truth of men and the undead? A wise choice, undead warrior. Prove you must that the truth becomes you. Seek an Orlando and claim Gwyn's heirloom. The Lord Vessel. Now, go, undead warrior. Show the world that the truth becomes you. 
Ah, if you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead, and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. Okay, I'm speeding this up to four times speed because I don't even know if you need to know this. I'm just, uh, it's been, I did this once before when I was going for a platinum trophy. But I give him, I think, 10 humanities and I get uh, the crack red eye orb. And there it is. It's not the crack red eye orb, it was the red eye orb. Okay, next up is going to be uh, Capra Demon, if I recall correctly, right? I got the basement key. I think I have the basement key. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.